You want teaching with your digital escape room to be successful and your students are engaged, not stressful, and a complete flop. In this video, I'm going to go over three do's and don'ts of teaching with your digital escape room to make sure it's successful. Your students are engaged. They're having fun while they're learning. Okay, three do's. What you should do when you are teaching with a digital escape room. One, explain what a digital escape room is. I always like to ask my students before class, before we get started, have you done a digital escape room before? Do you know what it is? You'll get a variety of hands. Some has, some have not. And I like to bring up the example of a physical escape room. Most students are familiar with that and have done one of those. So bring that up and say, it's just, it's the same thing. We're trying to escape something, whatever your escape room is, and we need to work together as we are completing these clues. Number two, really dive into the story of your escape room. There's a, going to always start with the story of your escape room. Read it to your students. You get really excited about it, really into the story and kind of paint that picture for your students. Get them into that situation where they're excited to is find out what the clues are so they can escape. And number three, give them prompts to get talking. Depending on your class, they may not or may have a relationship with each other, depending on how long they've been in your classroom. So if they are new, maybe they don't have that relationship with your with each other. They may not be as comfortable speaking. So you just need to give them prompts, ask questions to get them talking with one another. So who oh, I really liked how you solved that question. Do you want to explain it to the rest of us, your strategy for coming up with that answer. If you have an idea, go ahead, raise your hand, like share your idea, let other people work with you. So make sure to give them those prompts to get them talking and communicating and working together. And even at the very beginning, we are working together, like set that expectation. This is a group activity. We're working together. That's how it's fun where it's more fun when we're working together. If you are interested in seeing an actual digital escape room, I do walk through one I've created and you can check this video out on your screen on walking you through how to, what it kind of looks like to go through it with your students in a live classroom. And if you're interested in creating your very own digital escape room, I am teaching a workshop. I'm so excited to teach this workshop and show you the exact steps to create your own digital escape room customized to what you're teaching, what your subject is, so we can get your students excited and your classes unique with teaching with digital escape rooms. Okay, three don'ts. Do not do this when teaching your digital escape room. Offer no support. This is not a time for you to take the back seat and say, okay, these are clues for you to solve. You need to figure it out on your own. That's the digital escape room. And then you just sit back and just have, let them have at it. You do need to offer support, whether that's with clues they're trying to solve and with what you're teaching. So offer your, especially offer that support if they need it in that teaching portion where they're answering questions, guide their thinking, reteach if necessary, just don't completely pull back. Number two is you don't wait long enough to offer hints. So if students, they're not quite getting the clue and then you just jump right in and offer a hint, we don't want you to jump in too soon. We want students to have the opportunity to think outside of the box, communicate with one another, build in that teamwork and discuss how they think that clue is going to go or how to solve the question. Maybe they can take that role and kind of teach one another with how, what their strategies are to solve a question. But just don't jump in too soon, ready to save the day when they'll get it eventually. It will just take some time. On the flip side though, you gotta find that, that balance. You don't want them struggling too long where they're just getting frustrated with this. And that leads into number three, 
don't make your escape room too hard. When you're creating it, you do want to keep your aged group of students in mind and what they can solve, what they'll understand. That way, it's hard enough where they do have to think, but it's not too hard that it's just impossible. If it's impossible, that's not fun. We would want them to be successful because that success that they solve the clue, okay, they're ready for the next one. It, it builds on each other. It builds that momentum and that excitement. So we don't want to make it too hard in that. Keep your age group in mind as you're creating your escape room. And when creating escape rooms, you do need clues. So click that next video on your screen to see the top five clues you can put into any escape room. Tried and true. They absolutely work. So click that next video right now.